Good morning. Welcome to the Wex Wake Up for Wednesday, November 8th. I'm Christy Matino. Well, the results from Election Day 2023 are in, and it was a good night for Democrats in many states, but especially in Virginia, a key state many were watching as voters headed to the polls yesterday. Virginia Democrats swept the legislative sessions, taking back control of the House and keeping their majority in the Senate. They flipped control over the state's lower chamber, which was a big blow to Republicans who wanted to continue to push a conservative agenda in the Commonwealth. They also flipped a handful of seats in key districts, allowing them to halt Governor Glenn Youngkin's plans on issues such as abortion, education, and economy. The White House celebrated this win with Vice President Kamala Harris telling voters there's still more work to be done. Democrats just won in Virginia, and here's what that means. Across the country, voters are rejecting extremist plans to ban abortion. It proves that not only is it bad policy, it is bad politics. And the House voted to censure Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib over her pro-Palestinian comments about the conflict in Israel. On this vote, the yeas are 234 and the nays are 188, with four answering present. The resolution is adopted. She is now the second Democratic lawmaker this year to be condemned by her colleagues, punishing the Michigan Democrat for, quote, promoting false narratives about that October 7th attack against Israel by terrorist group Hamas. That resolution passed after 22 Democrats joined nearly all Republicans in support, overcoming opposition that stalled a similar motion to censure Tlaib last week. The Congresswoman had reportedly pushed back on efforts to censure her, accusing colleagues of taking time and effort away from saving lives in Gaza. The idea that criticizing the government of Israel is anti-Semitic sets a very dangerous precedent, and it's being used to silence diverse voices speaking up for human rights across our nation. And the White House is sharing their thoughts on new polls that former President Donald Trump is currently beating President Joe Biden. Our Christian Day Talk reports. The White House sought to push back on a string of new polls showing President Joe Biden trailing former President Donald Trump in a 2024 rematch. There's going to be a lot of polls out there. there until Now until uh, the next couple of months, there's going to be a lot of dozens and dozens of polls. It's not my job or, or my job from here to analyze these polls. Obviously, there are going to be folks on TV who are going to be doing that. Uh, it is a, it's a whole cottage industry out there when it comes to uh, when it comes to polling. So just not going to get into it. Um, obviously, we see the reporting just like you all obviously are either reporting it or see the reporting yourselves. Jean-Pierre pointed back to elections in 2011, 2020 and 2022 to argue that this data must be taken with a grain of salt. However, it also follows a poll from NPR showing Biden trailing Trump in five of six swing states critical to his 2020 general election victory. Thanks for joining us this morning on The Wex Wake Up. Be sure to give us a follow online and on social media so you stay in the know of all those headlines trending in politics.